Chevy Trucks, Shooting Sports America. Brought to you by Chevy Trucks. Federal. And Winchester. Hi, I'm Gritz Gresham, shooting editor for Sports Appeal Magazine. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to this edition of Chevy Trucks Shooting Sports America. We're here at the Homestead in Hot Springs, Virginia, one of America's great classic resorts and home to championship courses in both golf and sporting clay. Now, at first glance, golf balls and clay targets may not seem to have anything in common. Yet the truth is both games are remarkably similar, from course layout to stance and swing. And we'll be showing you lots of tips in each game that will help you play and score better in both. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Set in the Allegheny Mountains of Virginia, the homestead is one of America's most historic family resorts with a tradition of outdoor recreation that dates back to the 19th century. With 15,000 acres of forest and streams, the homestead offers something for everyone who enjoys the outdoors. From trout fishing in a mountain stream, to a horseback ride along miles of equestrian trails, to an early morning jog in the mountain mist. Golf, of course, is a trademark of the homestead. In 1892, the first golf tee box was laid, and Hot Springs has long been home to golfing legend Sam Snead. Today, the resort includes three championship 18-hole courses overseen by the Homestead's director of golf, Don Ryder. Recently, I had a chance to spend some time with Don to compare one of the Homestead's newest traditions, sporting clays, with one of its oldest, golf. And after spending a few days on both courses, we learned just how much the fundamentals of both games apply to one another. Don, there's a good reason why they call sporting clays golfing with a shotgun. Each course is different, and the topography determines what kind of course it'll be. It sounds exactly like golf. Some are built in the mountains, some in the open plains, and some along the sea. And just like in golf, you go from hole to hole, and sporting clays, you go from station to station, and each station presents a different challenge. Some shots are to the left, some to the right. Some you want to hit kind of low, and some you want a good trajectory out of. Let's do some shooting. Sounds great. Let's go. Don, how you set up for a shot in sporting plays is critical. You'll probably determine whether you hit the target or not. First thing, your stance must be comfortable. You want your feet about the same width as your shoulders, and your knees slightly bent. What this does is enable you to move from the hips. You want to rotate from the hips, just like in golf. Another thing, you want that head still, just as in golf. You want to bring the gun up to the cheek rather than the cheek down to the gun. What all this is is a smooth, fluid movement of all the body parts. Gretz, just like in sporting plays, the setup in golf is very, very important. It accounts for about 85% of whether we're going to be able to make that swing proper or get ourselves in the wrong position where we can't make a good turn through. We want to set up similar to the sporting clay setup. Let the legs flex, feet about shoulder width apart, where we can turn the big muscles, get the shoulders, everything turning together, not just the arms, or not get the hips going and not the shoulder. We want everything turning together, all one motion, back and through the shot. Is that about the right distance forward? It's a good setup. Good bring your right foot closer to the left a little bit. It's a little too wide. There we go. Good swing. Real good follow through that time. Went right on through to your left side. It's exactly what you got to do with every swing. Well, you know, I should know that, uh, Don, because it's just like in sporting plays. If you don't follow through, you're going to get behind the bird. There are a lot of light. But I forget it in golf. <laughs> One of the most important things in golf is a proper grip. We've got to get our hands on there nice and firmly, but not so tight that we tighten up these muscles in our arms and chest. From there, it's turn back with the left, make a good pull with your left side, your right side will follow through and give you that power. It's a turn back and pull through with your left side. Your right side will be there for the power and the extra distance. But always make that good pull with your left. Don, a light grip on a shotgun is very important just as it is in golf. If you get a stranglehold on this forearm, there's no way that you can make a smooth swing because that will tighten up all these muscles in your arm. 
Another thing that this left hand does, it guides the gun barrel. It pushes it right, it pulls it left, and it follows through with that hip rotation. Grits, in golf, alignment is one of the most important parts of the golf swing. We've got to make sure that we get ourselves aligned properly before we can make a free swing and down the line. So as we set up, we want to aim our club toward the target line and our feet and body parallel left of that target line so that we can make a free turn through the shot, getting this left side out of the way and the right side free to go through. If we start aiming to the right, what is going to happen there as you try to pull the ball back on the line you're going to spin the ball to the right and hit a lot of shots in the middle. John, you're right. Proper alignment of the feet is just as important in sporting plays as it is in golf. And for instance, on this station, if you align your feet around here where the bird is coming out of the trap house, by the time you get to the point where you can break it, you're locked up. You can't rotate any farther. But if you align your feet in the direction where you're going to break the bird and then come back, you have full rotation and you get the complete follow through. And that follow through is just as important in sporting plays as it is in golf. Oh. Seems like this one would be easier for me to Come to think about it, the scoring in sporting plays in golf is kind of similar. In sporting plays, if you do poorly on one station, you can make up for it on the next one. That's exactly right, and same in golf. If you happen to make that bogey or double bogey, a good birdie can perk you right back up and get you started again. One of the things I've kind of noticed is that uh, out there in sporting clays and golf, some of the people may seem to take it a little bit too seriously. I know in sporting clays out there, they'll, they'll miss a target and they can't hit it and they can't hit it. They really get frustrated. And after all, the main reason they're out there is to have a good time. That's exactly right. Same in golf. You miss those shots, you just have to go on and try to make the next one work out for you and, and have a good time. And one thing about it, that you can't find prettier place to be out in the outdoors than on a sporting clays course or a golf course. That's absolutely true. Both great sports. We'll be right back with more tips on golf and sporting clays. Uh, this is a pretty tough station. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Don, when you have a station like this where the targets are below the shooter, you need to make a little adjustment. The targets are below you, but they're also dropping. So what you want to do is get your, most of your weight on your left foot. And that lets you follow that target down. Whereas if you've got your weight on your right foot more, you will shoot over the target. You'll follow the plane and shoot over it. Let's give it a try. Okay. Up. Nothing to it. Grits, just like in sporting plays, weight distribution in golf is very important. On the shot in sporting plays, we were placing our weight to the left, leaning into the shot. We're shooting downhill. Here we've got an uphill golf shot with a pin a short distance from the edge of the green. And what we want to do is get our weight back on our right a little bit and get a little more loft out of the shot. So we stay back on the right, follow right through, the ball will fly up and land soft. Let's give it a try. Beautiful. You know, we get out there playing golf and we come up on an easy hole and we hit a bad shot and all of a sudden we think we should have made a birdie and make that double bogey and we just can't forget it. What we got to do is put that aside and go on to the next hole and have fun. Hit some more good shots. That's the same way in sporting plays. Uh, you get out there and you miss a particularly oh, difficult oh, target or an easy one. 
and you start to keep thinking about that for two or three stations and you keep missing more birds. You gotta hit them one at a time and take one station at a time. That's exactly right. It takes all the fun out of the game when we start thinking about those bad shots all the time. So you gotta get it behind us and go on and have some fun. Think positive. Think positive. Mary Sanders, the Homestead's Director of National Public Relations, is an avid shooter and believes sporting plays has a lot to offer women. Women shooting sports goes back to the days of Annie Oakley, and uh, she was a wonderful uh, influence on women of today. But I think that sporting clays in particular offers a woman an opportunity to challenge herself. And again, it's a sport that she can do that's very similar to golf in that it offers a, a social opportunity as well. And because uh, you have with equipment nowadays, the ability to enjoy a shotgun and, and have it fitted properly and shoot well for you, it's a sport that, um, believe me, once she loads a shell and shoots it, she'll, she'll get as enthused as any man. There's nothing quite like the experience of getting out there and uh, concentrating and making the effort, the mental effort, and bringing that shotgun up, learning how to handle it, and breaking a target, there's just nothing quite like that. It's wonderful. And I would encourage any woman to get out and try it. And uh, it's a sport that they really, truly can enjoy. Sporting clays is a sport where a woman can very easily compete right alongside of a man or anyone else and shoot very much evenly as well, if not better. It's the type of sport that if you commit yourself to do, you certainly can do it and be very competitive. These days, you're as likely to find women on a sporting clays course as on a golf course. Indeed, women are now the fastest growing segment in sporting clays participation. The Women's Shooting Sports Foundation now organizes women's only events around the country. These shoots provide a competitive format for experienced women shooters, as well as instruction programs for newcomers. Just as in golf, women have found that sporting plays is a game that can be enjoyed at a variety of levels. We'll be right back with Don Ryder and more on golf and sporting plays. John, it's important to keep your head on the stock in all shotgun shooting, but in a rising target like this, it's especially important. The tendency is when you're coming up like this, you lift your head to see the target break. What you've got to do is keep that head down all the way up, because if you peek to see the target break, it's not going to break. Let's give it a try. It's just like in sporting plays, where we have that rising bird, we have these shots on the uphill line in golf. It's a shot where you have to keep your head down, not pull it up off the hill, just like pulling your head off the stock of the gun. You've got to get yourself balanced and stay down along the contour of the ground and just put a good smooth swing on it and the ball will rise right up in the air for you. Perfect. On this incoming target back here is so easy. It just floats up there and comes down so easy. But the surprising thing is a lot of people miss it because they know it's easy. It's that lack of concentration, just like in a two-foot putt, where we know we're going to make it, we lift our head off of it, and it's missed again. When you get into the station, get on the station, into that little cage, getting ready to call for the target, you've just got to block out everything else. Be utter, utterly concentrated on what you're going to do. Break that target for those few seconds. And that concentration, time after time, shot after shot, is what gets you good score. You have to concentrate on the shot that you're about to make and make that shot do what you want it to do. At that moment, you can't do anything about the shot that you missed before or the one you're going to shoot on the next hole. Don, a very important thing in sporting plays is to pre-visualize the flight of the target. Like this is an example. Let's take a look at this one. What you want to do is get that path of that target firmly in mind. You know exactly where it's going to go every time. And then every time you get up to make a shot, you pre-visualize the flight of that target and you pick out exactly where you want to break it. That's the place where you shoot.
Pre-visualizing your shot is especially important on those stations where you have only a second or so to pick up and then break the target. Up. Any hesitation here, any second guessing on up. when to pull the trigger, and that target is likely to sail off into the woods unscathed. Fritz, just like the visualization of those birds in sporting plays, we need to visualize our shots in golf. What we want to do is pick our line in our flight of the ball. This shot here requires a ball that's going to sort of go out to the left and fade back into the right over top of that bunker. And you just want to feel like you're hitting it right up against that mountain there. Let's give it a try. Not too Not too bad. Bad. Oh. Yeah. Man's got no luck at all. <laughs> <laughs> one of the main things in golf is being able to make that same swing over and over. And we work on that on the practice range before we get our muscles to do what we want them to do. Muscle memory. That's the key to a good golf swing where we don't have to think so much about what we're trying to do, but just make that swing that we've trained ourselves to make on the practice range and just go on and swing through. I see that uh, pretty frequently on sporting plays courses too. You see shooters out there, you know they're good shooters, they can hit it, but they get so mechanical at one time. Now they've already practiced those things and really a shotgun swing is pretty natural. You're just swinging through that target, letting it be fluid, and it's fairly easy after you practice it. You just gotta let your experience be your guide there and just do it. You know, whether it's golf or sporting plays, there's no substitute for getting out on the range and practicing. Both games present players with a host of different shots. And it makes sense to focus your practice on those shots you have the most trouble with. Whether it's your short game in golf or hard right to left crosses in sporting plays. We'll be right back with more tips. Chevrolet Trucks is proud to sponsor the Chevy Truck Shooter of the Year program to recognize outstanding achievements in shooting competition. Earlier, it was my pleasure to present this year's award to one of America's most promising new shooters. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Judy Woolley of Plains, Montana, one of the finest competitive shooters in the country. Judy, you've had a fantastic year. You won the Bianchi Cup, the ladies' division. You also won the ladies' division of the Masters for the third year in a row. And both of those are top competitive events. Then, of course, you team with two men to take first place in the Chevy Truck Sportsman's Team Challenge. And that is undeniably one of the toughest competitive events anywhere. You've got to shoot rifle, you've got to shoot shotgun, and you've got to shoot the handgun. You shot them all and you shot them well. And for all these accomplishments, on behalf of the people at Chevy Trucks, it's my pleasure to award you the Chevy Trucks Shooter of the Year Award from 1993. And with it goes this plaque, and this check for $2,500. Thank you very much. With us also is Ken Jorgensen from Smith & Wesson, who would like to add his congratulations. Well, we at Smith & Wesson are very proud of Judy and her many accomplishments and feel this is a well-deserved award. We're thankful that Judy is on our team and we wish her good luck in the future. No, oh, thank you very much. I'd like to tell Chevy Truck that I'm uh, very honored to have received this plaque and check and uh, it's something I'll treasure for a long time. And I'd also like to thank my sponsors, Smith & Wesson and Black Hills Ammunition. And of course, my husband for all his support over the years. Understanding the strategy that's involved in golf or sporting plays can go a long way in helping you score better. In both games, for example, the success of your first shot can make all the difference on how well your second shot might turn out. Rich, we've got a far four here about 410 yards, so obviously we're not going to get there in one shot. The key is to get the first shot in position to where that second shot can be played in with the least amount of trouble. We don't want to get to the left over where that bunker is, yet we don't want to aim straight at the flag because we're going to end up in the rut. So we want to try to play left side of the fairway and then let the ball trickle down to the right and you'll have a shot right into the flag without any obstacles in the way. 
Don, we have something similar in sporting clays. In doubles, for instance, where you break that first target will either maximize or minimize your chances on the second. On these high doubles, for instance, if you don't take this first target early, the second one is going to slip by and get in those trees before you're able to shoot. Every hole on a golf course and every station on a sporting clays course presents a new and different challenge. So good course management, thinking ahead and planning your shot can make a big difference in your score. Down on this station, there's a hazard, this tree out there, and it's placed there for a reason. It's going to force you to plan your shot. Now the target is going to come from down here, come up and pass the tree, and then drop in. What you want to do is take that hazard out of play by breaking the target after it passes the tree, the hazard. Let's try it. Like the hazard you run into on the sporting clay fields, we also run into those on the golf course. This hole, we have a large bunker that's blocking the flag. What we want to do here is try to keep our shot about 15 or 20 feet left of the hole, taking that hazard out of play and still have a pretty good birdie putt. Let's give it a try. Now that's the kind of shot every golfer would like to make consistently. And it's a good reminder that good shot making whether the game is golf or sporting plays, starts with mastering the fundamentals of either game. From the right grip to the proper stance and alignment on each shot, these fundamentals are the building blocks of success for either game. If you get a stranglehold on this pole arm, there's no way that you can make a smooth swing. We've got to get our hands on there nice and firmly, but not so tight that we tighten up these muscles in our arms and chest. You align your feet in the direction where you're going to break the bird and then come back. You have full rotation and you get the complete follow through. We've got to make sure that we get ourselves aligned properly before we can make a free swing and down the line. The smooth, fluid movement of all the body parts. Throw everything for the target. After spending all a few days with Don, I realized that everything I'd learned about swinging a shotgun could help me better swing a golf club. And if you're a golfer, I know you'll find the reverse to be true. So if you haven't already, I hope you'll give sporting plays a try. Don, I'm a mediocre golfer, but after your tips, I probably won't score any better, but I'll know why. Seriously, though, your tips have been great, and I really appreciate it. But your tips on the sporting play field, I know it's going to help me. I broke more birds than I have in any round. I'm looking forward to practice. But Don, this could be the start of a great friendship. We hope you enjoyed the show, and that you'll join us on the next edition of Chevy Truck Shooting Sports America. Brought to you by Chevy Trucks, Remington, and Ruger.